survey input and validation. After loading the raw survey data, the model needs to be displayed in the current drawing. Obvious errors in the survey can be spotted and corrected. Triangulation and contours can be created to aid the checking process. Remember any adjustments to the model are not reflected in the originating data. Survey data may come from a number of sources including DGN, DWG, GenIO and Land XML. GenIO is the MX standard method of data transfer. Files are ASCII files and may be fixed or comma separated format. A typical data file requires a create model name, for example existing ground. If the model already exists, a warning will be given. The next line will be GenIO comma model name. This is where the data will be placed. Make sure the model names are spelt the same. A data line starting with 080, BD04 will create a string with this name and the lines below are the coordinates of the points. Take care. If the first line in the GenIO file is GenIO comma model name and the model already exists, then the string data will be appended to the model. So take care. To load survey data, use either File Input or File Import to select the required file. If the file is not listed, check Files of Type. The typical GenIO file. At the top of the file, the first line creates a model called Survey. The second line will store information in the survey model and any line starting with 080 will create string features. In this case the first label is BD04 which is a building and below that we have coordinate information for that feature. To run the GenIO file we go File input. I'm going to browse to the survey data text file and I'm going to select open and this will run the file. Confirmation of the file running can also be seen in the MX output window and I can see all the string information that has been generated in the survey model. I'll discuss the MX output window later on. String names and drawing styles. Feature name sets offer string names by description and control the use of string types throughout MX and most importantly provide level names in the CAD environment. Plan style sets are linked to feature name sets and define symbology for the strings to be displayed in the drawing and must for producing consistent styles of presentation for a company house style. Every model should be related to appropriate style feature sets at the earliest opportunity. To set model defaults, use Tools Model Defaults to assign the feature and plan style sets to be associated with each model. Select Edit to browse to the files. The standard MX installation comes with many style sets and these can be accessed from the public folder. The quicker method is to select Edit Model Defaults with the right mouse button in the Model Name box. This can be used with any data panel. When you relate models to style and feature sets, MX writes the relevant information to the file defmods.txt. Then, whenever MX displays anything from this model, it looks at the defined style set to acquire the required style. To display a model, Select Display Plan with Style Set and pick the model from the Model Name drop down. Four question marks will display all the strings in the style set unless required strings are selected from the string name or feature description drop down. The drawing display scale can be set and it is important to check Display All Strings to display strings that are in the model but have no feature description of display style. Select OK or Apply to run the data. The panel can be closed by selecting Cancel. 
two methods to assign style and feature sets to a model. The first is through tools, model defaults. The model can be selected from the model names list and we can edit to browse to the style set library. Another easier method is to display the model using display panel with style set, selecting the model from the model drop down and then selecting right hand mouse button edit model defaults. Again the style set and feature set can be browsed via the public folder and we are going to use the simple survey style set to display the survey model. I'm going to select OK and we have written to the defmods.txt file. The four question marks is a wildcard and will display everything covered in the feature set and all the features are listed on this drop down. Fences, ditches, hedges. I'm going to set the display scale to 1 to 500. This is already set in the project settings so I don't have to alter this. And I'm going to make sure that display all strings is selected. This means that anything not covered in the feature list will be displayed in grey. I'm going to hit OK. And we can see that the survey model is now displayed in the drawing. Hiding or deleting MX graphical elements. Use View, Show Hide Graphics, Hide Delete from Graphics to change the contents of the display. Hide Graphics makes parts of the display invisible. This can be reversed using Show Graphics. Delete Graphics removes the items from the display. Redisplaying the items is achieved using Display Plan with Star Set. Deleting items from the display does not affect the model file. Models can be selected from the display or the drop downs. Individual elements can be selected from screen, typed or use wildcards or descriptions for multi selections. To hide the hedges from the display, we use View, Show Hide Graphics, Hide Delete from Graphics. Select the radio button Hide Graphics. Element. We have the correct model name in survey. And I'm going to use the feature drop down to select the hedges. I'm going to hit OK. The hedges have been hidden from the display. To show them again, we go View, Show Hide Graphics, Show Hidden Graphics. Again we select element from the radio button, we select all of the hedges and we hit OK to show them in the drawing. To delete the hedges from the drawing we go view, show hide graphics, hide delete from graphics. This time we select the radio button for delete graphics, again we go for element we have the correct model name, we select the feature drop down, we go for hedges again, and OK. They have been removed from the drawing, but to re-display them we have to go to display, plan with style set. I'm going to select hedges from the feature drop down, and hit OK to re-display the hedges.